Everybody take a plastic cup. There you go, Junior. And there's one for you, Jennifer, Michael. Now take a rubber band and stretch it out and go across the top of the cup. That's it, exactly. And the bottom. Just like that. Very good, Jennifer. You've done this before, huh? Now put the bottom of the cup against your ear and gently strum the stretched rubber band. Now what are you hearing? What do you hear, Jennifer? I'm hearing a sound of maybe a guitar. Yeah. What about you, Junior? What do you hear? I also hear a sound. It's just like a banjo. Yeah. What about you, Michael? What do you hear? It's the sound of vibration. It is. Why do you think that happens, Junior? Because of vibration. Exactly. Vibration. But how is it vibrating? Do you know? The string is moving back and forth. The rubber band. The rubber band. It's moving back and forth. It's moving back and forth. You can see it vibrating. It's moving back and forth at a really high rate. But you can see the tiny vibrations in it when you look at it. And what that does is that displaces the air around it and the cup amplifies the sound. The object moves back and forth. It hits against the air and any other object near enough to be touched. The vibrations cause the volume of air to move and transfers the energy to your ear which registers that sound that's been produced. Now we saw with the aluminum pipe the different waves create different pitches and highs and lows in sound. Pitch is different than loud and soft as you can make a high pitch like a flute or a low pitch like a bass fiddle and they could play either loud or soft. So how is pitch produced? 